Alright guys, my name is Meta Goblin. Today I am making another video talking about the Lunar Festival, talking about two more, or possibly three more, very underrated items that you can pick up from the Lunar Festival which are going to be very useful for Blackwing Lair. In fact, these items are even more useful than the previous item I talked about because on the last video, um, Misky11 left a really long comment detailing what his guild did in order to basically get the most out of the Lunar Festival by basically obtaining a very useful item that can buff the raid and it's basically a rocket. Just before I start talking about that guys, please do give me a quick follow on Twitch if you want to catch any of my live streams and obviously live streams of Blackwing Lair when it is released. So the main item we're going to be talking about is the Lucky Rocket Cluster. Um, doesn't really tell you much with the actual flavour text of the item, but what it actually does is it buffs you for 250 health and it doesn't just buff you, it will buff your entire raid. In fact, I think it buffs anyone basically in your kind of local vicinity by, you know, 250 health, which is pretty ridiculous if you think about it because that's basically two elixirs of fortitude. Elixir of fortitude, I'm pretty sure, provides 120 health. So it's basically two elixirs of fortitude. And I've done the mathematics and you can with other items, you can basically get an extra 590 health. Because if you stack the Elixir of Fortitude, a Monster Omelette, which is uh, another 120 health, and then the Green Grog, which is another 100 health, you can actually get up to 590. Then furthermore, if you add that to all the generic class buffs like Mark of the Wild, Power Word Fortitude, and Blessing of Kings, it will rack up to... Um, I've lost the number. It's 1,500 precisely, so an extra 1,500 health with the Lucky Rock Cluster and everything else stacked up and the buff stacked up. 1,500 health is a lot of health to be putting onto your tanks and it's even a lot of health putting onto basically any raid member, let's be honest. Um, so that's going to be very, very useful at dealing with difficult encounters in Blackwing Lair. It's important to note that you can only actually use this item outside. So you should basically have to make sure that you use it before you get into Blackrock Mountain. Obviously there's also a chance that you may lose the buff because there may be a bit of a PvP conflict during Blackwing Lair. So that's obviously another thing to bear in mind. So you're probably wondering how do you obtain this item? It's pretty simple. Again, you go around um, basically accepting quests from the elders in various locations around the world. They're actually displayed on the map if you have classic codex add-on installed. What actually happens is when you turn in that quest, six hours after you turn it in, basically a Lucky Rend envelope will appear in your mailbox which has a 50% chance to drop the Lucky Rocket Cluster. It's important to note that the Lucky Rock Rocket Cluster actually does require a a cluster thing, or Rocket Cluster, I don't know what you're going to call it, like a Rocket Cluster Launcher. These weird words are very strange. You can see them over here, Cluster Launcher, Rocket Launchers, fire no sorry, Firework Launchers and Cluster Launchers. I think a cluster essentially just means a number of Rocket Launchers in one. Again, I don't really know um, fireworks that well, even though I did actually um, do help, do um, a kind of safety thing on a on a fireworks display. But anyway, so the, the way you basically do this is you can get a recipe from from this vendor here. I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, it's this one here. So you can get like a recipe. It costs five coins of ancestry, and essentially the recipe you get, which I can show you on Atlas again is here. It's like a plan. There's loads of different plans that you can get and you can probably like use your coins of ancestry on these to get the plans and then sell them after the festival is over. It might be sort of to, you know, generally quite useful to you. So you've got a firework launcher that you can create and also a, a cluster launcher. So you're going to need an engineer in your guild to basically create this cluster launcher and uh, essentially just keep hold of it so that you can use the rocket before you raid again. Like pro you probably use it like a um, Morgan's Vigil or Cargaff, um, is it called Cargaff? Pretty sure it's called the Cargaff area or Searing Gorge, whatever. Um, you know, before you jump in, you know, before you jump into Blackrock Mountain, because you can actually use it in Blackrock Mountain, I imagine, because it's is an item that you have to use outside. You, you may be able to use it in Blackrock Mountain, but I'm pretty sure you can't because you can't mount in Blackrock Mountain. So, yeah, you, you probably can't use it. The other item that it drops, well, has a chance to drop, well, not drop, but contain is, uh, I think it's an Elder Moonstone, I'm pretty sure it's an Elder Moonstone or a Loonstone, but I'm looking here on Atlas and it's going to be either one of these, I'm pretty sure it's the Elder's Moonstone. And you're probably thinking, well, why is that useful for raids? The Elder's, Elder Moonstone is basically your the only way in Classic Wild that you can do raid marking. So on retail raiding, you can basically put markers 
around the vicinity rather than just on players and it appears on the like basically on the in the actual game on on the like on the floor and it's basically really useful for coordinating your raid group and you don't obviously don't have that in classic but the elder's moonstone is basically a great alternative to that because you can cast it at some range and the the moon thing that kind of appears if i can i can show you what the effect looks like um, very quickly. So the effect on the ground will basically look like the Moonwell things here, and obviously that's you know pretty clear to the rest of the raid. If you want the raid to stack in a certain area, it's a pretty good way of communicating that very clearly. So yeah, another great way, um, obviously to look, that is a very limited item, which may run out, and obviously you don't want it to run out, but luckily there's a way to basically create, um, or basically a, a method for it not never to run out and it's called the Elune's Lantern so what it does I'm pretty sure I'm looking at it right now it's not an equipable item I'm pretty sure like a trinket or an offhand although it could be it's just kind of not telling me but um what essentially this does is it will turn a solid stone into an Elune stone and you can use it once per day so obviously you can stack a few of them before your raid night it is, um, it may be like required, like it may have a certain, certain fight that you're trying to deal with where the Elune Moonstone comes in useful. Again, it is very, you know, obviously a niche thing, but I still think it would be fairly useful. The way to get this is, um, I'm going to show you now. You have to accept a quest called Elune's Blessing, which is basically just where we were before. So you get the quest for Elune's Blessing just here from this guy, and then you have to figure out how to summon the Omen. In order to complete this quest, it's pretty straightforward. You come to here, to the cluster launches, you launch apparently 20 rocket clusters, and then all these minions will summon the minion of omens. Then you need to kill the minions and use the Elune's candle on one of the minions, which is basically like a firework gun that you shoot at the, um, you can basically shoot at any NPC. Um, I'm going to show you an atlas here. It's pretty sure it's here. Apparently it's not in Atlas for some reason, but anyway, that's when you should, that is when the boss will summon. It is actually a 40-man boss, so like, at the end of the day, there's probably not much for you to do right now, because everyone's waiting for Blackwing Lair, so I guess it's just a fun thing to do, go and kill an extra, you know, world world boss in order for you to get a very useful um, item that essentially helps you out in raids by displaying positioning tactics and stuff like that, but again, it is pretty niche, it's, you know, whatever you want to make of it. An interesting fact is when I was looking for the loot tables for the Lucky Rocket Cluster, apparently High Lord Overlord, High Overlord Sourfang actually drops, has a 10% chance to drop a Lucky Rocket Cluster. I don't know whether that's during or at any time, you know, is it whether it's specific to the Luna Festival or not. Obviously no one's actually going to be able to kill Sourfang anyway because he's like an insane boss. And there's a few other random NPCs which are like friendly NPCs, like Argent Dawn NPCs, which apparently drop it, but I'm not really sure about that. But anyway, I found that quite interesting, but obviously the main way to get it is actually in the post. But anyway, I think I've talked about this issue enough. There's one, actually there's one, it's actually not an issue for some reason, I don't know why I said that, but there's one other thing that I wanted to mention. Um, obviously I was talking about these dumplings in the previous video. What you can actually do is drink normal water with your festival dumplings, so you can regenerate your mana essentially twice as fast. I'm pretty sure the best water that you can buy is actually from the Argent Dawn vendor, unless you are a mage. So you can combine mage water and the festival dumpling to regenerate your mana exceedingly fast, which can be very useful in a very tight PvP situation if you're... You know, even in like a dueling situation, um, it'd be interesting if a lot of people in the uh, dueling community or the, you know, the dueling championships actually know about that trick, that you can use basically the combined health and mana food with mana items. I don't know, maybe it's like a banned thing, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, pretty sure I've exhausted talking about the Lunar Festival now, so I definitely won't make another video talking about the Lunar Festival, hopefully. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else to find out about it, but nonetheless, I thought this was interesting. I don't think many people have really talked about the Lunar Festival in uh, much detail, because largely it is kind of like a boring festival, uh, or world of them, whatever you call them, but like, I think the, um, you know, the health buff from that rocket is definitely useful as you know, definitely should be um, seriously looked into by serious guilds. I mean, maybe serious guilds are looking into it, like, I haven't heard about it, but maybe it's a totally original thing that I've just come up with, but probably not. I, I imagine a lot of people probably know about it, but who knows. I'll probably stop talking, I'm going to stop talking now. My name is Metagoblin, to my next video. Ciao.